September 17th is our 65th anniversary as a community, and we will celebrate it in a special homecoming on Sunday, September 19th. Our theme for this anniversary is refirement, not retirement, and we will explore four themes, reconnect, reimagine, reawaken, and recommit. Also, as part of this anniversary celebration, we will periodically be asking members of our community to share how unity has blessed or refired their lives. Today, Mara Sandvik will be sharing some thoughts about how unity has blessed her life. Mara currently serves on our board of trustees as a regular platform assistant and is part of our Comunidad Hispana community. And it's a blessing to have her as part of this community. Mara. Okay, I'm going to share how unity blessed my life. In order to do that, I'm going to give you a brief um, uh, background story. On September 20th, 2017, 2017, Hurricane Maria swept my island, Puerto Rico. I was there. After three months living without power and water and with my daughter in need of medical attention, I was helped to find a flight back to Virginia. To summarize my situation back then, an emotional storm sent me home and a physical storm brought me back to Virginia. But this is a story for another day. The point is that for some reason, I was meant to be here. Did I mention that I was going through a hard time back then? I attended Unity in Caguas. This is a town next to my hometown back in Puerto Rico. A couple of times before the hurricane hit. As soon as I got here on the mainland, I looked for the closest Unity Church, and Google Maps point me to Unity of Fairfax, 35 miles away from my place. For several weeks, I thought about driving one hour to get there for one hour service and then drive back home, until one day I finally attended the 11 a.m. service. I was welcomed at the door with a big smile by the welcome team. I was wondering, why are these people so happy? Maybe it's the water. <laughs> they add something to the ionized water. Or maybe to the coffee, because always Reverend Ross said, don't go to home before take a, a cup of coffee in the atrium. So then I receive a welcome package and a flower. At the beginning of the service, I was very glad to hear the daily word in Spanish and know that inclusivity is one of the core values. I was really touched to know that I was in, in a place where I was welcome, accepted, and respected. At the end of the service, the kids from, the, from youth ministry told the congregants what they learned in Sunday school. I was astonished with the teachings they received and wondered how different my life would be if a religious educator ever told me that I was precious, perfect, whole, and loved. Since that day, I have been empowered by the message and healed by meditation and prayers. Every single week, I am reminded that all that God is, I am. When I enter the atrium, it's not a building to me. It feels like home. And this is my story about how Unity of Fairfax has blessed my life. I invite you to share yours. Thank you.